Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jacob, and I'm back with another video. Today's video, I'm gonna be cooking up a beat using a loop. Um, so this loop is from Max Shooter and Iza. So go run them up. I'll put their Instagram on the screen right now. So I'm gonna be showing y'all how to flip the loop and you know turn it into a fire beat. So let's get right into it. First of all, I'll play out the beat, and then I'll go and break down everything. Let's go. the loop right here um you see i haven't even started anything so this is not to be a breakdown this will be showing y'all how i actually make it step by step first things first i'm putting it in track number one i'm gonna go in here and then i'm gonna throw on some portal i'm just gonna go through some presets so i'll find one that i like All right, so I found a preset that I'm using. It's inside of the Matrix portal bank, and it's called Outrageous right here. So this is what it sounds like with the loop. You can hear it's just like delay and reverb and all that stuff. So I'm just gonna turn the mix down on it to right, right about there. All right, so that's the loop. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put some drums on top of it. So how I do it is I just click pattern one up here and then extend it to five and then drag it over twice. So it's either I do it at five or I do it at nine, but I like to do it at. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the drums in here real quick. All right, so I have all the sounds in here. As you can see, I already placed one uh, the clap and the snare underneath it. So this, this is what all the sounds sound like. So first we got spins 808, just a normal 808. And then I have a uh, clap, but it's kind of like a clap and a snare. And then I have a, just a snare, but it's a lower snare. So I'm going to layer that with the clap. And then I have a hi-hat. And then I have a snare again. And then I have an open hi-hat. And then another open hi-hat. So, uh, most of these sounds are from Prod by DB. I have two of his drum kits. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add in the clap and then the snare underneath it. So as you can see, I'm just gonna go, and this is a normal clap pattern for everything. Unless I add like a different type of bounce to it, this is what I'm gonna rock with most of the time. So this is what it sounds like. And then I'm gonna right click on the basic and I'm gonna drag in two step. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to change it to one third step and I'm just going to add in some rolls. All right, so this is a pattern right here. It's more of a kind of super trap style, alien style type of bounce. Um, you can see all the lower notes down here, but you can also see they're all different velocities and they're all lower velocities. And then you can see it's still a four bar pattern from right here to the five and that's all that matters. So that's basically what I have it right now. Um, Y'all seen how I made it? All it literally is just rolls, just put them in anywhere. Now I'm gonna go on to the 808 because I like to base my snare around the 808. So I'm going to add in this 808 real quick, and I'm going to put it on B, because that's what the loop's on, and I'm just going to mess with it. So I'm going to move to line, and I'm just going to go and see if I can get the bass pattern out there. Alright, so this is why I usually like to make it an 8-bar loop, is because I like to spice the 808 pattern up at the end. When it's at a 4-bar 
loop. It just sounds weird. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy all the sounds over. And I'm also going to throw a soft clipper on the EQ. And the soft clipper is going to be bass. That's all it is. Just stock. I don't change nothing on it. So I'll go ahead and break down the pattern right here. So all it is is it starts off with just this. Right? And then I added in, and I just copied it over. You can see it's the same pattern all the way. And then I just added in the top notes. These top notes are the same. This is what they sound like right here. Right? And then I added just a simple roll, which is in literally one four step, which you can literally do. And then in the line part, you didn't even have to do it in four step or nothing. And then over here, all it was was I turned it to third step. I just put I put a regular note right here, like how I had it right here. Put this regular note down, and then just put went crazy on these, and this it's all just in the key. Like that is not a normal pattern that I'd use, but I like it the way it sounds on this. So with everything, this is what the 808 pattern sounds like. The only thing else I added over here was just another chop and it, all it is is on third step and it's just right here it's just one single chop it just adds a little bit more bounce to it so now on to the easiest way to add bounce to your beats I say that every tutorial if you want to hear the easiest way to add bounce to your beats it's literally just snare rolls it's snare snare rolls whatever you want to call it so I actually have one snare in there but I want to add another one this is a snare I use in every single one of my beats. This is what it sounds like. Well, I wouldn't say every one of my beats, but most of my beats, I use this snare in it. It's a super fire snare. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add in this snare pattern. I'm going to show you how I do it. So I just have the whole beat playing. This beat is not mixed yet, but because that's why it sounds so off. But I'm going to mess with the snare and I'm going to put it in here. Now I'm just gonna click on this right here. So I can put up the velocity right here. And so I make it going down. So I have a little four bar pattern and I'm not gonna do very much to it. I'm just gonna keep it like this. So now it's just time for add the rolls and then mess with the velocities. So what I'm gonna do for the rolls, I'm just gonna put it in third step and I'm just gonna get to it. So really all I did was I just messed with the velocity on a couple of these and I didn't really have to do very much because the pattern that I added in was good enough already. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, I'm gonna take away these last three notes and then I'm going to take away this and I'm going to go into the cyber multi kit and then go to snare midis and then click and you can see in the bottom left hand corner down here if you look at my mouse you can see the stuff that he has and these are all rolls these are all like snare drops almost. So this is, I'm going to add this to the end of my beat. And I'm just going to go through them until I find one that I like. So another thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add in this uh, other snare pattern. And all it is is just these little notes, these little accents. This is also from DB's kit, his MIDI kit. I accidentally dragged it in, but I like it, so I'm going to use it. For and I'm going to add in a snare roll one more time. So he has a different kind of style right here, and I'm going to use this one. Next is just to open hi-hats. And this is just a simple way to do this, and I'll just do it right here. So all this is just in the background is just a texture almost. And so that's that. That's that. And I'm just going to add the crispy hi-hat in here. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this, and then arrange it, and I'll, and I'll see you all at the end. All 
right, so real quick, I'll show you how I did all this. Um, this is the mixing right here. All I did was I came in and added a EQ and then brung down the mix on the on the loop a little bit. And then I put the 808 and 100% merge, so it's right in the middle. And then I boosted the boosting the main clap, boosted the little layer under the clap. I kept the hi hat the same, boosting the snare just a tiny bit, kept the snare roll the same, and then the snare drop I boosted that a little bit, and then put the separated knob so it's in both ears. Split that all the way um, to 100, so you hear in both ears. And that dropped the crispy open hi hat all the way down. That is the beat. Uh, the arrangement was super simple. It's always the intro, and then eight bars and then 16 bars and then the bridge and then eight bars and 16 bars and then right here it's the same eight bar 16 bar but i wanted it to end before you know three minutes so i went ahead and just moved this all over and instead of having a bridge right here i just went straight into the drop so then all i did was add my tag and with whenever i have snare drops in it i usually don't add in anything else in terms of arrangement like uh transitions I usually don't add any of those in i just keep it like how it is so that's what i did here i didn't add any transition overlay anything like that thank you for watching the video like subscribe follow me on instagram go to the patreon down below you can get this flp down there and you can see everything i did and how i did it you know what i'm saying and as always peace <laughs>